valency valency now we can we have since we have actually had the ions now we can actually explain what valence is because valency is the combining power of an element once elements are about to form compounds there is a point where they exchange their charges you get it once they exchange their charges each atom or each ion or each element has got a charge once they exchange they come together as a bond and the combining power of the each element is called valency or it is the number of charges that is the number the atom the number of electrons an atom carries that's another form or the number of electrons an atom give or accept valency so let's take a few examples um we will go for our sodium any of the first 20 elements is good but let's say let's have this small table like this let's see the elements good um let's have the charge it forms then let's have the valency good the an element like let's take something like oxygen oxygen is the eighth element and oxygen is the configuration is two and six now if oxygen should form a bond or it should oxygen should form an ion it is this is six oxygen needs two to be stable oxygen needs two to be stable so here any other atom that's available to give oxygen to will make it a two eight so here it will accept and the charge is two minus the valency is the number of the charge and this is two easier easily you just subtract the six from the eight it's easy once let's take this way once the number of the outer electrons are from one to say four you that this same number become their valency but once it's from five onwards you subtract from eight once the the large share of the valence cell is five to say five to eight you subtract from eight so let's continue so this one this one you will subtract eight from this and you get two and that is the charge and that's the valency let's go let's take an element like should we go so let's take fluorine f fluorine is nine and it is two and then it's seven now that this one needs only one so the charge that it will form will be minus one minus one so let me put this one here minus one now minus one the valency is the number that's attached to the charge and this is one or the eight minus seven still one so whichever way you should get it if you take which are the elements let's take our sodium na sodium the configuration is two eight one now this one here makes sodium unstable so it will give it out when it gives i say when it gives it comes plus so here is plus one and the valency is this number two or this one because this one is between the one and then four so the valency is just the one whichever way is the number attached to the charge and let's take which one aluminium aluminium is 13 so two eight three 
Now this one is, is still in between, so that the configuration is 283 and the valency, the charge that will form, because this three here is making aluminum unstable, so it will give it out. So this one be plus three. And I'm telling you that the charge, the number attached to the charge is the valency. So this is three. Or because it's still between the one and four, you write a three as the valency. We can go on and on. Let's take um sulfur. Sulfur is so 16. So 16, we have two, eight, and then six. And this one, it needs two to be stable. So weight will be minus two. And this is like the this is here. So it is. 8 minus this, and this one is 2. The valency is 2. Um, let's say, let's take our potassium. Potassium is K. That's 19. 2, 8, 8, 1. Now, this one is making potassium unstable. So, potassium will give it out. And potassium will be, will lose, will lose to a plus. So, this is plus 1. And the valency is also 1. So, this is how to calculate for the valency from the charge and once you know the configuration you can tell if it is stable or not stable if you take the last one like um argon argon is 20 sorry argon is 18 sorry argon is that is 2 8 8 and argon is 8 8 minus 8 0 so argon, the valency for argon is stable because argon does not form charge. Argon is stable. So you realize that you can actually look at the configuration of the atom or the element and tell if it's stable or not. Because this is two six. It is not stable. Two seven. It is not stable. Two eight one. It is not stable. Two eight three. It is not stable. Two eight six. It's not stable. So once you know it's not stable, why is it not stable? What is happening? What will happen for it to be stable? Now you know that two and six, it is not stable because this should be eight. Until I bet accept it, I accept it, I manage to two. You get it? This is two and seven. Seven, on to me, give you seven in now, uncle. This one will not exist as flowing again. So it will accept them one. This, is, this will make it two, eight. And that's minus. So the valency is the number attached to the child, the combining power of the elements. I think it's clear. You can try your hands on all the elements that come your way. And there are some elements too that have two or more charges. Some of the elements have two or more charges. If you take iron, iron can form iron two. Iron as an element, iron is ferrum, can form two plus or iron three plus. That's depending on the element it is reacting with copper as cu can also form copper one or copper two plus it goes on it goes on and on it goes on lead is also part pb so we as time goes on we'll be giving out some of the elements so that when you are forming the compound you know which ion is reacting with which compound with this i think we can continue and look at our radicals because we, are, we have studied that ions, that an atom that is electrically charged as an ion. But we can also have atoms coming together to form compounds and having a charge. So you can have a group of atoms together with a single charge. This is plus. This is plus. This, this ones are atoms. Sodium is chlorine. Copper is an atom. This one, it has a plus, so this is an ion, this ion, but you can have a group of atoms with also a charge, and we call them radicals. Let's look at radicals. <laughs>